Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief and Weather Forecast. Around 150 cadets and officers from six detachments across the Cayman Islands came together for a Christmas dinner last Saturday. The dinner event paid tribute to work done during the COVID-19 pandemic, including work supporting both the National Emergency Operations Center's Communications Center and the management of government's mandatory isolation facilities. Appreciation and individual recognition awards were presented throughout the evening. Commenting at the dinner, CICC Commandant Lieutenant Colonel Babeth O'Garro noted, quote, the particular impact of COVID-19 on the work of DECOR, as well as its community service initiatives, everyone, she said, had uh, persevered and found ways to accomplish training targets, as well as including virtual classes and testing and other innovative forms of service delivery, such as social media, end quote. Now, for more information about the Cayman Islands Cadet Corps and the opportunities that it makes available to young people can be found online at CI cadetcore.ky and the organization's Facebook and Instagram pages as well. Well, the National Gallery has opened its news exhibition this week that explores the artistic career of Horacio Esteban, entitled Alchemy in reference to the artist's remarkable ability to transform natural materials into wondrous objects. This new exhibition is the artist's first full-scale solo show, and it presents an illuminating portrait of his 25-year career. A key figure in the Native Sons Art Collective, uh, which emerged in Cayman in the mid-80s, Horacio Esteban is one of the leading sculptors in the Cayman Islands, who is especially renowned for his use of locally sourced or reclaimed materials, including uh, cedar, driftwood, and Caymanite. You can view the amazing work of Horacio Esteban at the local National Gallery. Well, turning now to a story from Kim and Brack, the two-story building that once housed the Hanson Movie Theater and General Store has been demolished, taking with it a bit of the island's history. In late November, workers from the Public Works Department worked from early in the morning to bring down the building that could not be repaired. The building was owned by Gaston Grant, who was given the property by his late father, Britton Bodden Grant. Mr. Grant says any new building on the property will not be replaced with a new theater. Taking a look now at today's forecast, the high temperature reached 77 degrees, low 72. We can expect partly cloudy skies to Cloudy skies with a 40% chance of shower sometime today. Winds are northerly, 15 to 20 knots. Seas are rough with wave heights of 4 to 6 feet, especially along the north and west coast. Small craft uh, operators should exercise caution over open waters. Now, fresh northerly winds and rough seas are expected today as a cold front, as we've seen, moves south of our area and the associated high pressure system builds over the western Gulf of Mexico. Remember, you can download the Weather Services app, CINWS, or go to the website, weather.gov.ky, for the very latest in our weather forecast. That brings today's news brief here on CIG Television to an end. I'm Donna Bush, as always, wishing you and your family a safe and wonderful night. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m.